Alright, so it's got an hour now running with the Vortex and the Fresh Filter uh, and the Speed Controller. I have it at medium and it cranked the heat rate down. I didn't have a heat problem, but now I'm at 67. So I'm probably going to go ahead here turn this thing down to, to like low. Which now is quieter than the fans on the Platinums. So, Vortex is quiet. That's my uh, outcome on that. Hopefully, that will, I want it like 75. It's kind of where I like to rock. Anyway, so there's my green lights hooked up. I just need to finish pulling the cable out, which I'll show after this. I'll take some pictures with it, with it on, and then with platinum's on and all this stuff. But all these wires are going to be much tighter and much better and secured out. They won't be loose. I just wanted to hurry up and do the video for my daughter. I have to watch cartoons. But that's the green light for when I work when I'm off. There's the filter. And then there's the Vortex can fan. And it's going straight out into here. I didn't duct. I bought ducting, but I haven't ducted anything out yet. So I don't know if I will. Because, man, at low, it barely pushes anything out. And I had it on high earlier. So my initial thought of it being as loud as my 800 can fan, 750 can fans, incorrect. This thing is way, way quieter. I just didn't know. When I had it open, set up in my front room, just blazing, I'm like, God damn, that's loud. So it's quieter. So yeah, green light, can fan, filter installed, with speed controller. I think my tent's done. So this is gonna be one of the last tents videos I do, unless it's concerning Platinum LED. Cause they rock and roll as far as I'm concerned so far. I'm really excited to try these. I, I haven't had fun and excitement and growing like this in about two years. And that's no joke. Doc's kit kinda made it interesting again, but like some people say, I just follow instructions, you know, and make big buds, so. Let's see what, how that works. So I gotta seal up those in the back still right now, and I seal all that up tight. I'm gonna get this as sealed as I can. And my friend's got a meter to adjust airflow and all this weird shit. So I'm gonna bring him over. And if there's not major leaks, I'll try CO2 in here. I'll put a 20 pound tank in there and try it out. See what it does. But other than that, I'll probably do no CO2 on the first run if I find any major leaks, which I'm assuming I will. So I don't have any of these intakes open. And this tent's pretty sturdy, man. It doesn't suck itself in. I had that thing running full bore when we hooked it up. And it didn't suck in or there's no bad negative air pressure. And I'm really impressed overall with everything I purchased on this trial. I'm impressed with the durability of the Gorilla tent. I'd recommend it to anybody in an apartment or small grow or a new grower or somebody that needs discreteness. Um, the Platinum LEDs. I would, at this point, in veg for sure, I'm recommending these uh, hands down over... Everything. Uh, I'd, I'd use them over T5s, but I have no T5s around. Well, I have so many, I'm probably going to stay with T5s for my main veg, but I could see these taking over my bloom in a heartbeat if it works well. So, thanks all for watching. Thanks, Grass City, for letting me host my new journals. And thanks to everybody that follows them. I appreciate it. Um, I'll try to take some videos once my epic video that I'm doing is about done. Then I'll start doing videos again for my journals. I want to get that one out of the way and get, move past that drama. So, Thanks everybody. Thanks Platinum LED. Thanks Gorilla Grow Tents. Thanks Doc Bud. You're all in the trial. Thank you House and Garden. Alan Weez at House and Garden. Thanks House and Garden always. Um, I appreciate all you guys. And Dutty Panty out.